This video is sponsored by Black Sunday. For all your nation gear, head over to blacksundayshop.com to cop yours today. While shopping, don't forget to use my promo code for icon for a free large icon sticker with any purchase. From the vast variety of t-shirts, collectibles, and even hats, Rep the nation wherever you go with Black Sunday. Link in the description below. What is up Raider Nation? It's your boy Simone Raider back at it again with another video. And today, before I get started with this video, if this is the first time you're watching this video and you're not subscribed already, then what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification icon button just to notify you guys when I upload more videos just like this one. Now with that said, let's get started with this video. Just tell them one thing. Just win, baby. So breaking news went on yesterday as the Raiders find out that Keith Smith suffers an injury and will be out for the beginning of training camp. Ian Rappaport was the first one to report this and tweeted, a hit to the Raiders backfield. Fullback Keith Smith suffered a knee injury while training and will be out for a few weeks to begin training camp. Sources say they may sign a fullback as he recovers. Now the injury happened while Smith was training on his own getting ready for training camp. There is a chance that the Raiders could bring in a fullback to compete for the vacant position. Could there be a possibility that the Raiders could bring back Marcel Reese just for the time being? Mm, probably not, but it would be nice to see him don the black and silver just one more time, even if it's just for training camp. This will be a great opportunity for undrafted rookie Alec Ingold. He will most likely be taking over first team reps while Smith is out. While the injury doesn't seem too serious, this gives Alec Ingold a golden opportunity, no pun intended, to step up. Ingold might not be a name that too many Raider fans are familiar with, but with Smith's absence, he should get a lot of first team reps in training camp. That's a pretty good position to be in for an undrafted rookie out of Wisconsin. Ingo, before the draft, was praised highly for his blocking ability. Ingo was the only fullback invited to the NFL Combine, and that's saying a lot. He had 17 career rushing touchdowns and played in 51 games at Wisconsin. Alec Ingold is a very versatile fullback that can block and catch the ball downfield. If all goes well for him in training camp and during the preseason, I wouldn't be surprised if Alec Ingold is the starting fullback week one. He has already built a rapport with his fellow rookies and looks to be ready for an opportunity to be great. You can tell that the leaders on this team truly believe that something great can happen here and everyone that was sitting in those chairs believed it as well. So having that belief is the first step, so it'll, it'll be really interesting to see you know, from there how it goes. The Raiders are known for having really solid fullbacks like Marcel Reese and Jameza Alawale, so hopefully Ingo can become another threat on offense. If Engel can match his college production and pave the way for rookie running back Josh Jacobs and others, then we may be looking at our fullback of the future. Now that is all Raider Nation. That's all I have for you guys today. I just want to give you guys that little breaking news and give you guys my thoughts on what I think about this whole situation. So what is your guys thoughts on this Raider Nation? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button. I would gladly appreciate it. And like I said, if this is the first time you're watching this video, then please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification icon button just to notify you guys when I upload more videos. Just like this one. With that being said, this is your boy Samoa Raider, and your boy is Yow. Yeah.